Okay, and I think we will probably do one more for tonight and pray that uh, the recording is gone correctly. But first, setup. Let's see. Assemble. Um, turn a new hand parts. Wing. Beam Naginata. More hand parts. Are they the same or are they different? No, they're both the same, so let's feed one to the other. Um, okay, yeah, I have two sets of melee hands I can feed to this, so we'll do it. Well, I ranked up. It didn't uh, level up, but it's a start. Um, I'm going to combine these two sets of Heat Hawks and the two heat hawks and the two uh and the two beam sabers of high level and see what i get mm, it's something okay pair merge level three beam saber go a little bit of xp and i'm almost to rank six Wish I could remember what that meant, but... Okay. Um, well, let's merge the uh, double shotguns. And I'm rank 6, so... Build Breaker rank 6. Eh, let's equip the shotguns. They look like fun. Um, I'm using my highest level head. They're all different, so no point in merging them. Bodies. Um, I could switch to a gym command body if I felt like it. There's no practical difference, but... Eh, let's do it. Uh, let's see. G-Self, Hygog. I'm going to combine all three of the Gundam arms and see what I get. Probably nothing of consequence, but such is life. And... Eh, halfway to the next level, so... Mm -hmm takes like four or five of a single level part to get uh, get to the next one but yeah arms definitely go in shining there legs all level one legs and i'll stick to g3 then backpacks i can either have the gundams or the uh gym command or, or excuse me the zaku kai of the two since again their stats are identical I uh, will go with the Gundam for the bonus beam sabers. Let's combine these shields. Almost to that level. Shield equipped. Actions. Um. Let's com let's replace boost tackle with shining finger. There we go. That should be fun. Mm -hmm. Um. Let's bring Beam Sabers into the act. And that's our new setup, so... I'll stick with the level... Actually, no, I'm going to go to the Heat Hawk. Which probably means, yep, my two slashes are gone. So I guess... Mm -hmm. um, put Shining Finger on Square. And move Boost Tackle back to X. Because that's the best I can do right now. And... Mm -hmm. There we go. Mm -hmm. I'll get used to this, I swear. Okay, there's our weird new uh, mobile suit, and let's go to one more mission for now, except this is the arena. Wrong one. Don't want to arena. Don't want to be fighting anybody online with my rank nothing mobile suit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bounty hunter, challenger, leaderboard. No idea. Again, yeah, that's multiplayer stuff, and I'm not quite sure how it works, so... Okay... It still says 20, 0 of 20,000, something Norma, 0 of 20,000. Well, this one's called Sound, uh, uh, Sandrock Town Cup, so pretty good idea of what we're doing there. Let's give it a shot. And yeah, this will be the last one for this session. With luck, with time and recording time, you will not see a difference. You will not see an interruption of service, but yeah, this is the last one I'm recording for now. Keep checking back, though, because, if all, like I said, if all goes well, you'll see the next one. And we've got Gundam parts, Gym Command parts, Shining Gundam parts. 
And I am looking forward to trying Shining Finger on somebody. Let's see, these don't charge, I don't think. Nope, they just shotgun. Which has its charms, I'll tell ya. And of course, the Heat Hawk has much reduced range compared to the swords I've been playing with, so... Of course, there's a trick to that. Yes! Now I have my circle button beam sabers if I want my range back, and I kind of do. So... Let's tackle that Gan. And next... Goofs. That would be nice to have some of. Yeah, I don't have burst mode yet, because that gauge... Assuming it's still at the bottom of the screen, it's not there, so... Juggle that Dom a bit. And finish it off with an axe. Heal us both. Ah! If you change your target lock as you're starting an EX action, it will redirect you if you do it before the attack starts. At least Boost Tackle will. Can't speak for anything else, I suppose. But... Nice. Man. And a Goof Shield. Nice. Let's go get this. Parts. Ah, Dom Arms. Nice. Got, got the Gan. I'm not sure what that 20,000 means, but oh well. I'm sure there's something. Alrighty, now. Um, being shotguns, I kind of need to get close if I can. Meanwhile, the bazooka guys really don't need to get close at all. But it's nice when they do. It makes my life a little easier. Man, this axe is dynamite. Chop, chop. Yeah, a lot... It looks like a lot of the melee weapons are starting to control very similarly. That's kind of a shame, because they're, the different patterns they all had in Breaker 2 was really nice. Maybe it's just the early ones and the early atta attacks, but they do seem kind of samey so far. Let's see what we're fighting. We're fighting a Zaku with a goof shield and a Zaku with a gym head. Interesting. Well, ow. I want my arm back, thank you. Tackle you. Chop you. Wait until you're down, and Shining Finger. And heal. Got him. Okay. Okay, well that just swung a chain mine at me. That was weird. Oh, I got a green gym head. I'm assuming that's like a higher level. Probably level 5 and up. Which I'm all for... Green. Yep, uncommon. I'm almost positive that's going to be what that means. Okay, there we go. A ah, green Zaku Bazooka, a green Chain Mine. Alright. Man, I hope this is all working right. I won't know until after I'm done. Loading stuff. Looks like a standard S type go good. Also, it looks dead. That's good. Is that a Mega Rider behind me? Excuse me. It is! No, get on the Mega Rider. Do not hack the Mega Rider to little bits. Tremendous difference. I'm on the Mega Rider! Oops, I'm off the Mega Rider! Okay. Ah. 
R2 fires its gun. Shars Gilgood parts a plenty. Okay. This is useful both as a way to hit things and a way to beam them, so... Oh man, does the Mega Launcher charge? Yes, it does. I like it. I like it a lot. Camper Arms? Sounds like an unpleasant hotel. Collecting uh, parts. Camper bits. Beams for you. R2 to shoot. Let's see. Yep. Charging. Beams. Oh, man. That was great. Looks like hitting something with a vehicle and then killing it seems to be a great way to knock pieces off. Knock it down and shoot. Oh, shoot. Got it. Yeah, I am digging this Mega Rider pretty hard, especially since when I hit lesser things with it, they just go. Man. Yeah. This is a vehicle from Double Zeta, in case you did not know that. Uh, it is uh, something, I believe, that was created for the Gundam Mark II to keep it up to par, because it was kind of hurting by the end of uh, Double Zeta. So, they gave it a cool robot motorbike, because, again, let nobody ever tell you Gundam isn't silly. And Double Zeta got a bad rap for years because it is, in many ways, one of the silliest of the Universal Century series. But I enjoy it. I really do. Well, don't run into my friend. I'm already at 31,000 for this stage. If the Mega Rider has hit points, I'm not aware of them. Smash, smash, smash. Knock them apart. Knock that apart. Have I missed anything? Doesn't look like it. Wait, there's a box over there. Let's go get that. I bet I have to get off to do that, so let's do it. Yep. Well, again, body, that's good. And back on my Mega Rider, because, yeah, not letting this thing go. Oh, man. Yeah, I, vehicles were fun in Breaker 2 as well. There's just something, you know, hand-to-hand -hand combat is great, but sometimes you just want to run a giant robot over with your car. I got pulled off of it, and that looks like... A camphor with a goof shield. Can I get back on my car? Can I get back? I can. I can run you over with my car. I can run my friend over with my car, too. I just have to be careful. Beams for them. Beams for them. Watch out, hunt. Okay. Oh. A, an uncommon camphor head. Seems kind of early to be getting level 5 parts, but I'm not complaining. Ah, the, the Mega Rider's health is shown. That's good. Knock you over. Steal your parts. Hit you with my car. Until you die. And steal your parts. Ah, another uncommon camper head. I might use some of those uncommon parts to level up other types of parts I don't have a good 
copy of. Misa's got pretty good health. We asked your parts. Sorry, Misa. Can I keep it? Can I keep it? Oops, I gotta get that. Pardon me. Trying not to run you over, I swear. Okay, moving on. Unless that's a box over there on my radar. Doesn't appear to be. Let's go. Can I keep my car? I want to keep my car. Well, motorcycle, technically. Space motorcycle. But you get the idea. Nope, don't get to keep it. I can't say I'm surprised. There, let me heal her as an apology for hitting her with the Mega Rider so many times. Man, these guys. They're a little bit overwhelming. I want my car back. Oh, Gan Arms. I think that was a uncommon Gan Beam Saber. Well, I think it just repelled my shining finger, the jerk. Ah, missile shield, so I got the Gan Shield. I also chopped the bits. Time to heal. Chop, chop. You can stop kicking me now. There we go. I do like that you can equip any mobile suit with martial arts now, though. I'd like to mar martial arts something with like a with like dom legs or maybe the, even the Xeon. And that is some more customs. Looks like based mainly on Gundam Mark II, or at least partly on Gundam Mark II. Gundam Mark II AU arms. I'm taking a beating. Ah, my repair skill is... Interesting, they... That looked like they were, uh, recharging with time. Is it possible that you have to guard to get them to recharge with time now? That's an interesting concept. Let's switch my repair kit to those again. Yeah. Okay, let's... Let's... Okay, his super armor is down. Shining finger! Oh, that was satisfying. And effective. Uncommon AU Mark II head. Dang right, you're losing parts. Victory! Are all the parts in the arena mine? I hope so, because that's what we got. 52,000 ace points, not bad. Okay. Up to 9,800, uh, or 98,000 credits. And learned EX Actions Variable Shot, which I'm pretty sure is the double rifle super. Tornado Axe, and Ground Shaker, which I think is because I kept using the tackle. Uh, got, yep, Gans Beam Saber at level 1. Level 4 Chain Mines, neat. Uh, uh, Shars Beam Naginata, level 2. And 3 level 2 MS Hands I'll probably put into my existing level 2 MS Hand to level it up. Uh, Gundam Mark II Beam Rifle, always like that design. More Twin Shotguns, again, I'll just, you know, feed them to my current one. Uh, Jim Sniper 2's Beam Rifle. Uh, two Zaku-2 two machine guns, two Zaku-2 two Kai machine guns, the MMP-80. Um, a level one 
Uncommon Zaku Bazooka. Okay, I guess it itself is just uncommon. The level is irrelevant. Uh, the Dual Gundam's Bazooka. Two of those, I can combine them. And a level 4 Gym Head. And a level 1 and level 3 Camper Head. And a level 1 Gundam Mark II Aug Head. So... Uh, level 4 Zaku, one, level 1 Dom, and a variety of camphor heads, but the level 4 is the most important. Alright, so level 4 Zaku 2 body. A 1, a 3, and a 2 in Dom bodies. 2 and a 4 in the Gan body. 3 in the camphor body. And 1 in the Mark II Aug. In arms. Oh, all the arms. Uh, level 4 Zaku arms. Two level ones, one, four, three, two in Gan in Dom arms. Excuse me. Uh, level four Gan arms. Gelgug, Shars Gelgug, a one, two, three, and one, two, three, and four camphor arms. Oh, excuse me, one, two, three, four, four, three, two. It's, yeah, bunch of camphor arms and level one and two Gundam Mark II arms. Uh, level four Gelgug legs. Level 1 Camphor Legs, which have Sturmfausts attached. Gundam Mark II Backpack, it's level 1, but apparently it's rare. Uh, Gelgug S Backpack, which is a Beam Naginata, and nothing else. But apparently provides boost, that's nice. Uh, that's one nice thing about the standardization parts for this. Zaku, Garma Zaku Backpack. And three Camphor Backpacks. Uh, Goof Shields at levels 1 and 4 and 1 and 4. Uh, Gans Missile Shield level 3, and Mark II Aug Shield level 4. And some plastic, like 130 parts. So, that's our haul for this level. And that is going to do it, I think. Well, I, we must have won. She's excited. First, Her first victory, I think. And the creep is not happy, you can tell by his voice. Well, what do you think of that, etc. Pro Gunpla Fighter. No idea. But he's being a jerk. We'll just go through this a little faster because we know how it is. Okay. No idea what they're talking about. Something about spirit. Town Cup. Okay. I think he just got chewed out for being a sore loser, but that's my best guess. Alright, so, yeah. So far, I like this. I'm not sold on the standardization of the power levels of the parts. That's kind of a problem I've always had with uh, the Soul Calibur series. The, the customization in that has always been weird, because I kind of like putting together patchwork monstrosities for... Uh, for you know, the best possible stats, but I also like being able to customize things without getting murdered for using them. That's always a difficult thing to figure out for video games because, you know, how do you balance that? Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 has a system where you can put together basically a part that up your stats into use that overrides the stats of the clothing you like, which... It's a clever idea, but I'm not sure how well it works. Uh, for one thing, mixing those things is a mystery, and you have to be very high level to uh, get any decent ones, and so you're spending most of the game, you know, making patchwork outfits for maximum benefit. But, yeah, you know, every game does it differently. I don't know how I feel about the standardization here, but at least the special abilities of each part are going to keep setting them apart, so that's worth, you know, worth fighting for but that is gonna do it for gundam breaker 3 for today we will be back with more soon hopefully and thank you again to for picking this up for me i am enjoying the heck out of it so far and i hope everybody else is too so until next time everybody take care and have fun later